bit this morning from the scripture, from the Gospel of Luke. In chapter 1, beginning with verse 57, the scripture reads, Now Elizabeth's full time came that she should be delivered, and she brought forth a son. In verse 59, And it came to pass that on the eighth day they came to circumcise the child. And they called him Zacharias, after the name of his father. And his mother answered and said, Not so, but he shall be called John. And then down to verse 66. And all they that heard them laid them up in their hearts, saying, What manner of child shall this be? And the hand of the Lord was with him. And then skipping over a little bit to verse 76 and verse 80. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his way. And the child grew, and waxed strong in spirit, and was in the desert till the day of his showing unto Israel. When you read the scripture here, you find that Elizabeth and her husband Zechariah were blessed with the birth of a son into their family, and they were parents that were trusting in God and listening to the Holy Spirit as he spoke and as he gave direction in their life. And so John was blessed, really, to be born to parents such as these. And, but oftentimes we find that children are not born to parents such as that, that are directed by God and listening for the direction of the Holy Spirit in their lives. Oftentimes as I visit the hospitals, they're on the doorways, they're at in the hospital, you'll find a pink ribbon or a blue ribbon indicating the birth of a child. And you uh, sometimes wonder as to what kind of a home, what kind of a family they were born into as to what they'll grow up to be. John was blessed to have parents such as he had in Elizabeth and Zacharias that was uh, spirit-filled people and parents that were listening to God, and truly it's that way today that children that are born into Christian homes are blessed uh, to be a part of a Christian family. They say that a child's most rapid physical and intellectual growth is between birth and three years of age. And then that by the time the child reaches five years of age, that they have developed 85% of their personality. So you see as to how important it is for a child to get off to a good start and how important it is for a child to be in a good environment, a good surroundings in those early days of their childhood life. This morning we have some here that we want to recognize and that we want to uh, recognize the parents this morning and some of the grandparents are here. And I'm going to get a microphone and just kind of step down to the front. Turn that thing off. Yeah. And we have a little gift for each, each child that's here this morning. And uh, I don't know, I don't have them in alphabetical order, but I'll just take them closest ones to me right here this morning, and that's the Tennant family. And uh, Becky is here with John and Ashley this morning. And uh, an interesting note, we asked for some interesting notes, and we got some back from some of you. But an interesting note in, in uh, the Tennant family here is that John <coughs> is the only boy in a long line of girls. And I just feel like that John is is taking advantage of that and going to make up for lost time, don't you? <laughs> I believe that he that he is. Becky and Michael Tennant uh, came to us a little over a, a year ago now, or about a year ago, and uh, Michael is chaplain out of the fort and uh, expecting to be uh, uh, to get out in the very near future and pray for God's uh, direction upon his life as they uh, uh, enter the ministry, and we'll just pray for them. And it's just great to have Becky and John and Ashley with us this morning. 
and Becky, if you and John will come, and Ashley, and bring Ashley with you. Ashley is quite a little lady, and we appreciate each one of those. Ashley Renee Tennant and John Edward Tennant. And Ashley was born May the 22nd, 1988, and John was born April the 17th, 1990. And Richard's going to get a snapshot of them there, and we're going to have these uh, developed, and uh, then we'll get them back to the parents and to the grandparents, get some copies of them back there. But, uh, John, are you camera shy? <laughs> Ashley's a little camera shy. <laughs> okay. All right, let me get a little something. <coughs> we'll get, let John have this one. And we'll let Ashley have this one. Well, you're welcome. next one I'd li like to honor this morning is Mary Ann Sherbert. Anna. Mary Anna Sherbert. And uh, if, uh, if Beth will come, and Anna, and Eddie, and the grandparents are here this morning from Louisiana, the Larpenters, if they'll come, come on up with us. And uh, I've got an interesting fact about Anna that probably most all of you know. When the grandparents get here, we'll face Richard and he'll get a snapshot there. We asked for one interesting uh, thing about them, and uh, of course, uh, Beth put down here most everything she does is cute, especially to the grandparents. <laughs> and uh, so that's the way it usually is, isn't it? But uh, Anna is the fifth generation on the maternal side with the first name Mary. And uh, Anna was born. December the 21st, 1990, and uh, she's quite a little lady here in the church and gets a lot of attention. Uh, the grandparents aren't here all the time, so the church family makes up the difference there uh, to give some attention there. And, and it's good to have it's good to have her grandparents with us this morning. And we have a little fun, a little something for her. Okay, then one more. All right. Get one of just, uh, just. <laughs> they gonna get one more snapshot here. Sorry. We want a copy of this. Why, sure. You gotta take something back to Louisiana to show the folks. That's true. They wanna know we have a granddaughter. <laughs> Dalton Cove with him this morning. 
And I don't know if you were here last Sunday or not, but we had a sailor that was here last Sunday that got a lot of attention in a little sailor outfit. And that was old Dalton, wasn't it? That was old Dalton that got a lot of attention in his little sailor out there last night. And, okay, come on up here, Jack. Jack's a, a happy grandfather. And uh, we have Dalton Cole. And Dal Dalton is, now see, when was he born, Greg? October 29th. October the 29th. He wants the microphone. He's going to be a preacher or a singer or somebody that wants attention anyway. But uh, <clears throat> Cheryl's working this morning, and we want to remember them and pray for them. And uh, pray for Dalton Cole that, uh, that he just grow up to be a fine young man that would be pleasing to God in all that he does. You know, it, it's a real joy to see these young babies and these young children in church and to see parents that are bringing them. As I mentioned, in, as I read the scriptures morning, that's not always the case. There are babies that, that don't get to be brought to church. And the statistics that I read show that as to how important it is in those early days that they have a good environment and good surroundings there as to how much it affects their life. And Jack, if you'll reach right there behind you and get one of those and present it to Dalton. And I'll just bet if he has it for a little while, he can tear into it. <laughs> All right, you got a picture, Richard? Yeah. Okay. We have one little fellow that has had a had a somewhat of a rough time uh, the past few, well, really for the past couple of months. Uh, he's not able to be with us this morning, but his mother is here. And Melissa, if you'll come up, uh, we want to uh, give Melissa something to take back to uh, our Connor, Bradley Connor. And uh, we want to pray for little Connor. He has had a, as most of you know, he's had a, a tough time. He was just just got to come home Thursday, is that right? And uh, he has had heart surgery and has gone through quite a lot for a little fellow. And he was born, when was he born? February the 3rd. And so that's quite a lot for a little fellow uh, that was only born February the 3rd. And we want to remember him as we pray. Uh, Brad, uh, Brad and Melissa are in the military here, and I understand, are you still on orders for Germany? And uh, we may be departing company with them, or they'll be departing company with us in the near future. But we want to pray for them and pray for little Connor that wherever they go, that God would uh, keep his hand upon them and bless their life and bless in the, little, in the life of little Connor as he continues to grow. And uh, we, we pray that he'll grow physically and spiritually alike uh, because of the influence of his mother and, and father that they'll have on his life in these early days. Okay, have I missed anybody this morning? Have I missed uh, a baby that's here and uh, that I haven't recognized? Okay. There's not any out in the foyer or anywhere or already gone to Sunday school room somewhere that I've, that I've overlooked. <laughs> okay, we want, to, we want to make this a annual thing. Uh, the church recognizes a baby day, and but there's been times that, or the general church does, there's been times that the local church hasn't recognized it on an annual basis. But uh, I hope that we'll always be able to do that. It's for those that are three years of age and uh, younger, and that we'll recognize those once a year. And uh, sometimes, of course, if they're here for three consecutive years, well, they would get recognized. And uh, until they graduate, until they graduate from from the baby uh, until the children's department there. And uh, but we have a good group of children. We have a good group of young people, and I just appreciate what the Lord's doing. And I want you to pray for the parents of these. And uh, you may not have children here this morning, or you may not have grandchildren here this morning, but you can be a, a positive influence on these children that are here in the church. And uh, a lot of these, and we do have a lot of military people from time to time and away from grandparents or others that live in the area. And so you can be a grandparent to them. And, uh, you can uh, be an example to them that would help to affect their life for the future. And uh, that's what we want to do, affect their life in a positive way in all that we do for Jesus Christ. 